All right, hey guys, welcome to our new Let's Play series, founded by yours truly. Today we're gonna be playing. Hey, we're gonna be playing the big game called Punch Out for the Nintendo Wii, the Nintendo Famicom. I don't really remember how to play this game. I played this game back in the summer of '98 when I was like four years old. I feel this could be a great learning experience to punch in with the big man. Man, major technical difficulties. All right, hey guys, I'm doing this again because it didn't work the first time. But today we're gonna be playing Punch In. This is gonna be a great game. Have not played this game since a very long time ago. Blah blah blah. More things that I said once before. Um, that's how mad I'll be when I'll start playing this game. Could be him. I am literally him. I'm anyone in this. But I, you know what I gotta do? I gotta make a name for myself. I gotta na make a name for myself. And I think, I think I got what it takes. So I'm already, I'm already punching up a storm. Well, Matt can't handle it. What? Well, I'm, he, he, he can't even dodge all these punches? Okay, we're not gonna make it. We all start up somewhere. Start off with a French person. No way. I've, I've battled a French person before. They come in, ha they come in packs. Except, this one. This one is a little, little tipsy. Man, man. I, I wish he was bonjour, me. Sometimes bonjour. I wish. Je suis glace Joe. Ha -ha. Don't worry guys. I, I'll spend this guy off. I remember the controls slightly from when I played it back in the summer of 34. Except, uh, I got a, got a long ways of going by, uh, you know, come on, come on, come on. See, see, this is what, this is what a real professional does. Beat up little kids in their time. I feel like, keep on Tom, Tom Glass Joe until he goes down forever. See, these kids don't know how good they got it. Can go like, bump. Bow, bow, bow. Have myself a field day. And look, he can't even touch me. That's how good I am. Oh, and my controller died. Okay, it's, it's, it's technical difficulties, guys. Technical difficulties. Te technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Shit. Four. Uh. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Knockout. That was not real, actually. I'm sorry this happened to me. But this was, uh, this was actually all stage. This never actually happened, so. You know, this is why I also hate Dolphin, too. They, they really take their time in how they want to respond to faulty Wii remotes, and I think I've had it up to here! Alright, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Prankster Dankster here. We're coming back at you again from a hot experience on the, on the, on the mic from what happened before with, uh, a uh, misfortunate experience with uh, this guy named Glass uh, Glass Farrell. Uh, he went uh, he went a little bit crazy. Uh, the refs actually called him out, and uh, I think he's he's out for another season. But I don't know how he's back. But uh, I'll beat the living uh, whoop de doo out of him, and I'll be like, pa 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 pow. And he'll be dead, and I'll be winning. See, you see what you see? These French people. They really got me acting up on my nerves. I know your tricks. You know your tricks, little man. See? We'll punch the gut. Goes down in two seconds. Two seconds. He could just change his name and his bout to whatever his name is. Uh, pla plastic, uh, plastic man. I think a majority of people feel bad for Glass Joe, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, keep, keep talking smack. I don't want to hear it. So we want to tune out Doc in this segment. That's what they have to realize. It's over. It's over. TKO. See. See, you don't mess with Big Mac. Come on. Get me for $7.99 at your local McDonald's. The thing is, is that I'm I'm already, like, depleting his HP right now. And he wouldn't know. And he wouldn't know. Oh, what a, what a distinguished gentleman. 
I really hope he doesn't grow up to be a dictator in a certain country that I won't describe. Well, he's got the... Oh. Well, I'm gonna turn this guy into Archduke Franz Ferdinand, guys. He's one for the, one for the title bow. I'm trying my best right here. Oh, oh, never mind, I'm not trying my best. I'm sorry guys, I lied. You know, he calls for his mommy a lot. I don't know if there's like some past family trauma or something really going on behind the scenes. I won't delve into that. That's Von Kaiser's own personal life. Ha-bam, ha-bam, ha-bam. It's almost as this man does not know what he's facing. I'm a force of nature. I'm a force of nature. Do. He knew what he had coming, but he still fought me. You know, it's almost as if I'm the king of this world. Okay, Disco Kid is, uh, I'm gonna keep on punching as well. He's really gotta work on his dancing game. He took, like, a choreography class in, like, third grade, probably. But bro does not know how to hit it. He could probably be, like, uh... Actually, I don't know. He probably listens to, like, Taylor Swift or Harry Styles all day, though. So I can't really contend him for anything, except being, uh... Ready for this? Yeah. Disco kid. yeah, I can't really commend him. I just gotta time it up, and then I got myself three stars just like that. You know, and I feel bad for him too because he, he seems like a dancing kid, not a disco kid. I don't hear any earth, wind, and fire beyond here. Plus he co he tells you, he tells you, he knows when every t attack's gonna happen, and he still lets me know. I really have to commend him for that, because he's a really nice person for doing that. But like, come on, man. Oh no! He, he can't do his one job of dancing right. He's not even showing off! Which is crazy when, like, his one profession is dancing. And like, he's kind of a, not that guy. You know, I think I just hit the flat. Would you would I say he's pretty sharp now? I'm sharp. Anyway guys. King Hippo doesn't matter. This man could be dead in four seconds. Fat man he, he could be a model. He could be. Except he chose not to be. He chose a life of passion and hunger. And not in... Not importantly... A life of failure. And there. Just like that. Just like that. This this battle is so simple in the fact of... Don't be a Hawaiian when you face a Big Mac. The force of a huge man and a dock. See what can I say? Hey, great work, Mac. Now let's take down the next circuit. Don't you doubt me now, my my power is limitless. Except when it comes to piston horn. I changed my outfit to blue, so that means I uh I am as calm as a river. I'm actually the metaphor this guy stands for. He's a bit oblivious to the fact that I'm the king of the world. I already said this like 15 times, but some people gotta know. They gotta know their places. Okay, not cool, dude. Not cool. Oh, okay. Okay, this is. I think this is our first knockdown. I'm proud. I'm really actually proud of Piston Hondo, but he really makes it apparent that he's not a good person in this scenario. So I'm gonna. Okay. Okay, I was gonna do the one two one two balls combo. You know, he can't detach, he can't come back from this. It's almost as if he's living a life of a lie. In seventeen seconds, I know it's gonna happen. Then boom! Just like that. He meets his maker. And that's it. Just like that guys, I am Reggie from Nintendo. And I've beaten this man.
And here we go with the... This is actually the biggest threat that I think I have ever had. Bear Hugger is not a very fun fellow to uh, battle. As in, when I had faced him before back in the summer of 83, he was not very nice. Like, you see what a menace this man is? This guy's from Canada, really? I thought all bald people originated from, like, Alaska. Okay. And it doesn't even matter! Because it's this guy's, like, impossible to dodge. Yeah, he, probably, he probably has, like, a top dentist in, like, Canada. Yeah, I was I was kind of doomed from the start there. Don't worry, I'll, I'll beat the living snot out of this guy. There's probably melatonin in that stupid ass. That's why he ain't got no manners! I, mean, I think... I think I can get him out before the time ends. Don't worry guys. I'm a professional boxer. I knew what to do when I saw the maple tree. I knew to grab that axe. Put down that cherry tree. I forget who was the tiger dude. Great tiger! Let's we'll start off by punching this guy already. This guy, I had one of one of the times of all time with this guy. Uh, I have many, many non-fond memories of this guy. Even though, uh, I think he's like the most aesthetically pleasing out of any single fighter in this game. So, I'm going to put the money where my mouth is and uh, beat this guy up. Like, I can get three stars already. And the problem is they're all gone now. Another shit damage segment. Okay, that was really close. That was deadly close. That was also deadly close. That was also horribly... You'd probably find this guy at like a truck stop or something, honestly. They just found him on the streets and say, Hey, you wanna fight, dude? Because they see, he seems like that kind of guy. I don't know how to dodge it. I don't know how to dodge that. What do I do? What do I do? Yeah. And he's gonna boom. Look at that sky high punch. And look, look, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get this dub. I'm gonna get this dub right here, right now. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Cause he's just a little guy, and I'm gonna end it right here, right, mother. Okay, guys, that ends today's Let's Play series. I'll catch